C I E T N C E R T presents audiobook of mathematics for class 4 titled math magic book 4 chapter 10 titled play with patterns part 1 page number 107 dinu used this block to make a sari Here on page number one zero seven, there is a sari pattern given. This sari pattern has been made with the help of the block given. Next, he made this bed sheet with the same block. On page number one hundred and seven, a bed sheet design has been made. This design has been made by Tinu using the same block which he used. to make the sari page number 108 he also made this dupatta with the same block here on page number 108 there is a pattern of dupatta this pattern has been made with the help of the same block by tinu can you observe how tinu has made different patterns using the same block Now you two make three different patterns using this block. Here on page number one zero eight, there are three different boxes given, named as pattern one, pattern two, and pattern three. These boxes have been divided further into fourteen columns. Now you have to make three different patterns using the same block. Page number one hundred and nine. Yamini has used her blocks to make a few patterns. Help her to take these patterns forward. There are three different patterns made by Yamini. These patterns are made using her blocks. You have to use the pattern and take these forward. We can also make patterns with numbers and letters. Here are a few examples. Can you take them forward? There are four different examples of patterns using alphabets and numbers given here on page one hundred and nine. You have to observe them each and take them forward. Now write your own number patterns. There are two blank spaces given here to write your own number patterns. Page number one hundred and ten. Make a pattern without numbers. There is an empty row given here, which is divided into six blocks. You have to make a pattern yourself without using numbers. No number comes twice. Observe the number box. Can you identify a pattern? A diagram has been given here on page number 110. In the diagram, there is a number box in which nine places have different numbers written in them. There is the face of a boy and the face of a small girl. The girl is saying, "No number comes twice in any line." This is the speciality of this nine boxed figure. Here no number is repeated in any line whether vertically or horizontally. Now you try writing the letters A B C in the box so that no letter comes twice in any line. There is an empty box given here. This box has been divided into nine parts. You have to write the letters A B C in every line, but none of these alphabets should be repeated in any line, whether vertically or horizontally. We have not used the terms row or columns here, but using the word line, teachers may discuss the idea of rows and columns. Page one hundred and eleven. Magic patterns. Observe the pattern of numbers one to seven. 
Identify how each line adds up to 12. There is a pattern given here using stars. Here, in each of the stars, a number has been written. Numbers given are 2, 3, 7, 4, 1, 5, 6. Now, you fill these stars. Use numbers 1 to 9 and the rule that the numbers on each line add up to 15. Here on page number 111, a pattern has been given. This pattern includes 9 stars. All the stars are blank. You have to fill these stars. Use numbers 1 to 9 and the rule that the numbers on each line add up to 15. No number should be repeated in each of the line. Magic triangles. Observe this number pattern. The rule is numbers on each side of the triangle add up to 9. For example, 3 plus 4 plus 2 equals to 9. There is a magical triangle given on page number 111. The numbers given on the triangles are the numbers given on the triangle are 3, 4, 2, 5, 6, 1. Observe if the other sides of the triangle also add up to 9. Page number 112. Now, use numbers 1 to 6 to make your own magic triangle. The rule is numbers on each side must add up to 10. Here on page number 112, there is a magical triangle given with six blank boxes. Now you have to use numbers 1 to 6 to make your own magic triangle. Number on each side must add up to 10. Number towers. Numbers can be arranged as a tower. We start from below and get this number pattern. Here on page number 112, a number tower has been given. The numbers written on the tower are 10, 20, 30, 30, 50, 80. Can you see the rule for this pattern? Rule We add two numbers below to get the number in the box above them. Two more number towers have been given here and have been solved. The first number tower has the numbers of 10, 20, 30, 30, 50 and 80. For example, when we add 20 and 30, it gives us 20, it gives us 50 and hence 50 has been written above 20 and 30. The next one has been solved for you as well. The numbers given on magical tower are 10, 20, 30, 30, 50, 80. By adding 30 plus 50, we get 80. Page number 113. Using the same rule, complete these number towers. There are two number towers given here on page 113. The first number tower has been made in the shape of circles. The second number tower has been made in the shape of boxes. Some blank spaces have already been filled for you. Using the rule that you have to add two of the blank spaces and write the total on the box or the blank space above them has to be used. The same sum rule. Some friends are playing with number cards. Observe how they add. There are six friends playing with number cards given on page number 113. First from left is number 11. The next one is number 12. And the next one is number 13, 14, 15 and 16 respectively. The number 16 has been written first from the right. 
Can you observe the rule which gives us the same sum each time? The rule is, we get the same sum when we add the two numbers. For example, 11 plus 16 is 27. 12 plus 15 is equal to 27. And 13 plus 14 is also equal to 27. First from left and first from right. These two numbers have been added. Second from left and second from right. Third from left and third from right. Now, you write any number and the three numbers after that. Make a pattern using the rule. Here is a small box given divided into four sections to write your answer. Check if you get the same sum. Page 114 Patterns with addition There is a diagram of a little girl given here. A talking box has been given along with her. She is saying, Oh, the sum grows by three each time. There are three solved examples of patterns with addition given here. In each of the pattern, the sum grows by three each time. That is, the first total is six. The next total is six plus three equals to nine. And the third total is 9 plus 3, which is equal to 12. Here on page number 114, there is a diagram given of a boy. A talking bubble reads, Here, the sum grows by 4 each time. There are three solved examples given on page number 114. The sum increases by 4 each time. The total is 10. The next sum will be 10 plus 4, that is 14. The third sum is 14 plus 4, that is 18. Now, you try to make such a pattern with 5 numbers in order. Here, 5 different rows of blank spaces have been given to you. Each of the rows has five different boxes and a sum total box. All the boxes are empty. You have to try to make such a pattern with five numbers which are in an order. Does the sum grow by five each time? You were just listening to chapter number 10 titled Play with Patterns Part 1. With it, chapter number 10 of total 14 chapters ends here. Voiceover artists Shalini Singh and Vebhav Srivastav. Sound recordists Batilang Lingdo and Vikas Sangwan. Assistance in production by Shanu Muksim and Meenakshi Kukreti. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary. This book was presented to you by CIET, NCERT, New Delhi, India.